Nini everyone, Mary here again. After a long hiatus, I have returned. I misplaced my webcam, but uh, fortunately I found it. And not only that, but you might notice I bought a new microphone. I decided why not, you know, break it in and do another comedic plant series. This one will be on my, one of my favorites, Wormwood. Wormwood's scientific name is Artemisia absinthium, and that's for obvious reasons, but we'll get to that in a minute. It's native to Eurasia and Northern Africa and naturalized in North America. It's part of the daisy family and it's an herbaceous perennial plant. Wormwood has straight stems growing nearly to four feet with leaves uh, spirally arranged, gray above, white below, and they're pubescent, meaning they have these little hair-like structures, with oil glands. The leaves are highly incised and bi or tripinnate, which denotes to the shape of the leaves. The flowers are pale yellow, tubular and clustered. They're wind pollinated, and these flowers eventually produce achenes, which are small, dry, one-seeded fruit that don't split open, so just little seeds. Wormwood grows in uncultivated arid ground like rocky slopes, footpaths, and fields. In ancient Egypt, the aromatic essence of wormwood was often added to wine and beer as a flavoring, and I think that comes as no surprise to any of us. There were, however, many instances in which wormwood was used in medical remedies, especially to expel worms, but there was also inflammation and fever and cough. One remedy reads as this, a remedy to expel worm, leaves of pondweed, wormwood, sweet beer, ground together and strained and drunk. In the modern day, wormwood has been used in the creation of absinthe, which, according to some folks, is a psychoactive chemical. It's also used as an ingredient in smoking products, incense, and smudge sticks. And just like in the ancient days, it's still used to expel parasites. Wormwood is definitely a hardy plant and has escaped cultivation here in North America. You can find it almost anywhere there's been any sort of disturbance. But uh, you can also grow it in your garden and it's really easy to grow. Just be sure that it doesn't escape your garden. And with that, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's really good to be back. Thank you and Synepti.